It is October 12th, 2024, and it is 7 o'clock in the morning, and you wouldn't believe this, but it's dark outside. The sun's not out. We're heading towards the winter solstice, and the day is shorter. And this is June, and it's very cold. It's only 60 outside, but it's toasty warm in here. I thought I'd have to put the heat on, but the heat is still in the house. So save a little bit on gas, you know. Okay. Well, I want to share with you, this is my Joni. She's cleaning herself, our precious girl. Good morning. Yes. That's my precious. This is my beautiful girl. Oh, my love. She hangs out with me for a lot. I'm su really surprised because I wake up in the morning in my room like I recently did. I just woke up, and this is what I wake up to in the morning. Joni. And the minute I wake up and open my eyes, she purrs so beautifully. And it makes me smile to know that it, between our interspecies relationship that she cares for me. And I do love her. And I think in my own way, she loves me too. She thinks of me as her friend. And I think of her as a very beautiful cat. She's grown, doing her morning grooming. Yeah, that. She's singing to me. She's singing to me the purr song. And look at the beautiful eyes. She really has pretty eyes. They're so beautiful. You're so pretty. I wish I knew if she looks like her mother or her father or a mixture of both. But I'll never know. See, she's got the pretty brown and the black. And I think of every morning when I see her and every day when I see her. So I'm not over taking care of my mother. But I'm so grateful that she's in my life. My son got her out of the Humane Society. Somebody had abandoned her and left her off, but we took her in. And how, what well, I was told, how David and her met, they were there going to look for a Chihuahua friend for rent. And he was just looking at the cats and she put her paw out to him and he looked at her, and their, and their eyes met, and she was destined to come here. He loves, she loves David, too, very much, and Doris, and she gets along with them perfectly. And so, they play together. So she became a part of our lives, a very important part of our lives. And we'll be here throughout her entire life to make sure she gets the vet, best veterinarian care possible and a good home and good food. And toys, which she has. And you remember I bought her that tree, cat tree. 
and she can use that too if she wishes. It's in their room. Well, you know where it is you, if you saw the video. And it was the first cat tree I ever purchased. Before David was born, back in the 70s, I had a cat named Angela. She was a turquoise shell. And of course, I didn't know about the internet. And she had a cat bed, and I bought her little friskies, cat food. And she had a cat box, and we put it in our bathroom. And we put her cat bed in our bedroom. My husband was living at the time. God rest his soul. And um, David's father. And we had her toys in the living room. We had a one-bedroom apartment. We didn't own a home then. We were just starting out. And she, Angela was given to me. And when I looked at her, I said her name was Angela. And I couldn't call her anything else. And we had to put down a $20 pet deposit where we lived. We were allowed pets. And we had to put down a $20 pet deposit. So um, in my home, of course, I can have whatever cats I want. The homeowner's insurance makes no difference on cats. And for dogs, that's a different matter. You have to get a health certificate from the vet. You have to get a certificate showing the dog never bit anybody, and it has to be within the breed's approval list and run it. Or your option is you sign a letter of responsibility that anything your pet does, you will take the financial burden, even if you get sued. Okay, so, Ren is on our homeowner's insurance, and we um, had to do all that. But Ren never leaves the house. And he's only a little chihuahua. And he's real old. All he does is sleep and eat. And I told my kids already, no more dogs. No more dogs. Because I love Ren, but what, my mother is in her 90s. I have so much time taking care of her. I don't feel like I have the time to be with my pets the way I should. And this is the first day in a long time where I've actually been able to be, I come home long enough to do her laundry and to put something up on YouTube, which I'm doing my best. And when I'm not at my mother's, she calls me a lot because she misses me, her living alone, so. I made a decision that I will be there in the daytime, but unless she's sick and needs me, that I'm coming back home at night to sleep in my own bed. And it's not that she doesn't make me comfortable there, but I need to spend more time here. I need, I think the reason Joni spends so much time with me here, I think she's been missing me. Because in reality, David should be her best friend, but... I think she loves us all equally. And I think when we're here, she must be back there spending time with them. Although, I don't know because Joni is a cat. She's not a dog. And cats have a little different personalities. But, these are my thoughts about our most wonderful cat. She remind, even though she doesn't look like Angela, Angela was a turquoise shell. I think she's beautiful in her own right. Um, she's a mixed cat. She's not a purebred cat. I think David said she's a tabby mix. I think that's what the Humane Society listed her as. But look at that it's pretty white fur. Look at this beautiful fur. Her mother and father must have been pretty. I do love her. I think in her own way, she's
she's trying to let me know that, hey, I've missed you. You haven't been here much. You haven't been spending time with me the way I should. And it's hard because I want to be a good daughter and a mother and a pet owner and a good Christian female on one. So it's a lot on my shoulders. It's a lot of responsibility. And I want to be a good YouTuber and make sure that you guys get my love and attention. So I try to do it all. And um, I hope I'm keeping all of you happy. When I get, and I'm learning how to handle stress. And I think I'm going to get do an umbrella dance this week. I know I haven't done one this year at all, but luckily I haven't had any requests for it. So, and I struggled this week, year with my health. Losing, to lose weight, to become healthier to try to get off some of the medications I'm on. And so, and now I have a fear of gaining that weight back. So, and this is my she, she sparkle, spending time with Joni, listening to her beautiful music as she sings to me. That's what I call her when Joni sings to me. beautiful kitty and my thoughts and I'm going to go out and mow the grass in the front yard after it gets a little warmer right now it's only in the 60s out it's too cold as soon as it gets a little warmer I plan on mowing the grass and Thanks for watching, and as always, the fun never ends in Sea Sparkles Corner. Feel free to share. Feel free to subscribe. Hugs and kisses from my family to yours. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.